All right. So I have my carport all put together. Um, but the wind started tearing it down. Now I had bought two stakes and put them on opposite corners. And you can see the stake didn't come up. But the rope snapped on this side, not on the other side. So I bought myself two more stakes. So each corner can have one. And I've gotten myself some new rope. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did for our little greenhouse. And I'm gonna put it back up. So hopefully the wind won't blow it away. Okay. I think this is about where I had it. There's that stake. I'm not stake over in the corner. So I need to put one stake here and one stake over there and then start tying it down. All right. I've got this going across the middle, wound a little bit there, over in there. I've gone ahead and put the little pegs that they gave me back into the feet to keep them from moving around so much. Um, so now I just got to put a peg there and a peg over there and do the same thing I did here. What I might do. <laughs> Is adjust this fence so it's just a little bit closer and then I'll take some some wire and leave it here because while the fence isn't attached to the ground or anything it is heavier so that should also help a little bit um yeah so that's great I guess maybe mine was over just a little bit more this way leaning closer but it's fine so yeah, uh, I'll do that then. All right, I got that side tied down now. And I, I had to stand on this because I'm short. So that was the only way I was gonna reach the middle there. But hopefully that will keep it um, to the ground. So I have four stakes and these are technically like stakes for putting out animals and stuff, but they, I mean, the two that I put in the ground stayed in the ground, and they weren't necessarily easy to get in either. I mean, that one was a little easy, but it should be okay, I hope. Oh, there's a little bit more slack in this line than I wanted there to be, but, uh, well, it's probably a two-person job to really get it down. Um... Okay, well now that I've got it back up and hopefully staying, the next thing I've got to do is figure out exactly how I'm going to arrange my rabbit cages underneath it. Now I know this one isn't big enough for the setup that I want to have all of the cages, so I might have to get a second one and set it up over here, so I'll have two. Now if I do that, what I could do um, is put a little gutter here in like between to catch rainwater. I don't think I've got this quite aligned, but that's okay. Shouldn't be too big of a problem. Um, but yeah, I could put some kind of like gutter or rain catcher here to ca collect rainwater um, and do, rather than feeding them or watering them through bowls, I could get like an automatic watering system um, and get like a 550 gallon drum or something along those lines to fill. Uh, maybe. The problem is I don't know if the rabbit cages will be low enough for gravity. And even if they are, this might be too high depending on how high I have to put the, the gallon drum in order to f f feed into... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna set it up because this is going to be the footprint for the rabbit cage. Now these are wider than what I really need because this has a lip underneath it. Don't know how well you can see that but it's got a lip here and that's what I plan on setting stuff on. Now it doesn't have one on this side here. Um, I had thought about getting like the half slab cinder blocks and standing them up but if I do that I need a rod to put down in between them because 
Uh, otherwise, they'll just fall over. Um, so I might do it instead of like having the doors on this side so that there's an alleyway here. I might have one alleyway here and then have rows of cages going this way instead. So I can have like one here, one set of two cages here, have um, another set of two cages here back to back to it, then have a little alleyway here and have another set of four cages back to back here. In which case I'd fit um, like four sets of two cages in here. And then it wouldn't matter so much if they're closer to this side, especially if I go ahead and get a second one. Um, so yeah, there's that thought. I have to get, I don't have to get more of these, but I want to get more of these and kind of enclose the area. Because while I want my cages to be up high enough that raccoons can't just pick off their toes from the bottom like they were doing before, um, I do... Raccoons can be pretty cunning, and if they want something really bad, they'll, they're sure to figure out a way to get it. So if I can um, put a fence around it, that should help. Um, so yeah, that's some thoughts. So I'll probably have to get more of this fencing. And I realize <laughs> this last time I had it was a little bit closer to this. So I might have to adjust, adjust the fence or it's a little too late to adjust, adjust the carport, but it's okay. It's okay. It's not a big deal. It's just a little annoying, I guess. Um, but I guess first I kind of got to wait and see if this is going to stay like it's supposed to, even with my um, stuff. <laughs> it's annoying. I might have had this more back in this corner, and that's why. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. Probably need to do a ramp for the chicks. I plan on letting these guys out in the rabbit area when I have it fenced in. Um, so yeah. I don't know, okay, yeah, so I've got some stuff to think about, make sure that this thing actually stays like it's supposed to. I was kind of hoping that putting it back here would um, give it a little shelter from the wind, but it looks like the wind goes this way instead of this way, so it didn't do it the way I wanted to, but um, I need to move them out of the cattle shed so that we can convert the cattle shed into a coop coop and not a half and half. Um, and then I also need to move them so that I can get new cages in order um, and test them out. So I've got two of these. I just gotta, this is only the floor, I gotta figure out the, the cage and then how I'm going to attach the rest of it all together. I do have what I began to test over here in the old shed. <sighs> and you see the large industrial shelf that I ordered. I don't remember the exact dimensions. Um, but it was close enough to the size of the um, slats, the hog slats that I bought. I thought it was going to sit inside of it. But it's not quite. And you see it's slightly wider here. So... I mean, this is a good idea, don't get me wrong, but I can't seem to find one that's slightly wider than this so that I can have this here sit on this portion here. Um, I have made a cage to fit around it, but I haven't fit it. <laughs> figure out exactly how to clamp it down so they can't just push it out. 
Um, the other idea is to, and this dog crate might just be big enough to sit on top of it. And then maybe I can like bolt it in through um, the slat, like through here. Um, which is kind of what they do at the pig farms for the crates. So, I don't know, I'm still trying to figure all of that out, but uh, the shelf obviously isn't working the way I want it to, so I'll probably take it down and I'll probably go sit in the garage for a little bit until we figure out a better use for it. Um, that, or when I finally get a permanent, permanent place, what I can do is I can cut this into sections in order to hold these, and then I can move it as far apart as wide as I need it for that to sit on this uh, nicely. Um, which would ultimately mean that I don't need many more of these. I'll just have to continue buying these until I have enough. So, yeah, there's that. Um, goodness. So yeah, that's um, my project right now. Which is kind of, but also kind of not going the way that I want it to. The reason I want the dog crates is because this is a pretty heavy duty wire. Um, I've bought a couple of used ones and despite being used and somewhat bent up, they're still pretty sturdy. My rabbits can't tear these up easily. Like the wire cages that I do have, some of the rabbits I've had have torn them up. They've you know, just pulled the wire up and um, that's not good. So if I were to use this and I'd probably take the bottom portion off, like disconnect it. Um, I don't know what I would use it for yet, but I'm sure I could find something. Um, so yeah, I've gotta, I gotta take that over there, see how well it fits. Blah, 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 blah. So I've, I've got some ideas, I just, ugh. Things aren't really fitting exactly the way I want them to, and so I've got to find work away, work workarounds for that. But other than that, um, at least I'm moving forward with some projects. So that's, I mean, at this point, any progress is forward progress, and uh, I'm just gonna try and be happy about that. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to move at least one rabbit over to a new cage and start testing it out and seeing how I like it. Um, I think the hog slat will work better because uh, not only is it um, I mean, cast iron, I, I work with it at a hog farm, so I know kind of what it's like. Um, it's easy to clean, especially with the power washer. Uh, I think if there was any buildup for my rabbits, I could use a, a like a small hand scraper to clean it. Um, it also, I mean, it still has openings so that the urine and the feces will pass through and won't build up so much in the cage itself. I mean, it's sturdy. It's supposed to, at least one of my bosses said he estimates it to last like 20 years. They expect it to, to last 20 years when using it for a sow. Um, and those are like 400 pounds plus, okay? Um, so even if the cast has uh, a flaw, it shouldn't really matter for a 40 something pound rabbit. Um, and I can easily and nicely use this for Flemish giants. So I could get myself some Flemish giant females and not worry about them bending up the cage and being uncomfortable because they're so heavy, um, which is a plus, because I, I would like some uh, Flemish giant females again. But yeah, so that's what I'm looking at. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's kind of my ideas right now. That's what I'm working forward to. Um, like <clears throat> the perfect width it's just a little short but I guess that's not such a huge deal because that means there'll be a gap though kind of bigger than I wanted but there'll be a gap there between each cage that I can put a hay feeder in 
So it'll, it'll sit between the two cages and act as a hay feeder. I can do that and I can I could put like a, a triangle shaped thing in it for the feeder so it, it goes down the sides, I guess. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I don't think they have a dog crate that's just slightly longer. But maybe, maybe they do, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Mm, I could probably move it over so that it sits more like that. <clears throat> Hay feeder, and I could probably put something over on this side, use this. So that, like, if I put, I don't know, maybe... Um... Gosh, I don't know. I don't know. But this is about the size. I think if I got the next size up off Chewy, it would be too big at that point. But with this size, I could probably get some, like, um, U-clamps. Put it, um, well, right here. I, I could clamp it down through the bars. So I could probably do that. I just have to figure out.